Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of We Invade China. China, we invade it. Yeah, that's our episode title. The Burmese menace, they're coming for us everyone. And we are fighting for our lives in China. Um, I'm not exactly sure who's winning to be honest. Like, I'm pretty sure we're not exactly losing, but I'm not entirely sure we're winning. Let's go back here, uh, then go back here. There should be some more men by then. Let's see, we're winning there. Because, I mean, we're winning some of these, and then we're losing a lot of these. You know, if you guys try to siege down everything, you still have to get through an entire, like, this much of me before you finish this out. Over here in the Eastern Theater... We have a gigantic army which no one else is thinking. Go everyone, go group up on that army. I know what you guys have been doing. You've probably been idiots and just not grouping up altogether. Okay. Yeah, you just probably attack it one by one and then like it kills you. Okay, I'm gonna gonna go make sure we go kill that army. There we go. 122 men. There we go. That that should suffice for killing all of that men. There we go. The biggest, you know. Rebel Slong's hold has been defeated. Let's see, how much more men do you have? 87. So 287 communist troops. Okay. Have to mind, I have to definitely mind the communist revolution. They are definitely a little bit more powerful than I thought they were. Just still not powerful enough for me to too much care. I wish that was the case. Okay, go, go destroy that. Go destroy that 26 stack right there. It's about to run siege one of our provinces. Which is going to be really annoying. Sure, 15% canned food. Go destroy that 15. Oh man. So many Chinese. So many Chinese. Man. This is like killing off a hundred different people. And they still don't die. Boy, man. At least I'm starting to see some wear and tear in their lines. That's the good part about this. Is that there is some wear and tear. Not very much, but there is some. Ah, oh, shoot, they got their land back. Okay, there we go. Let's go siege up that. Let's go see you guys are done sieging up that. Let's go see this. Let's go get some more stuff. Oh, man. That bolt rifle, rifle action should give us even more advantage against the Chinese. Go right there and go right there. Let's see, you guys go right here. Bohemia, yay! We got more people coming to come help us. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I don't think we're going to lose this war by any chance. I just feel like... Oh my goodness, this is a this is like a swarm of troops. Yeah, they're slowly starting to slow down because it's like we're killing all their men uh, at home. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys aren't moving in. You guys go kick out this. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to have you guys do like a round circle kind of thing. Just destroy everything next to you because they're all sieging. Let's see. Okay, so go right here, go right here, go right here. Go right here, then go right there, then go right there. Okay? Oh my goodness. Alright. See, you guys are moving down there. Good. Uh, let's see. And then we have a 40k moving down. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost there, people. Oi. China. Man. Conquer. Hard. Very, very hard. Oi. At least. At least we almost have control over what we need. China, you're giving up? Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that did not go as long as I thought it was gonna do. Oh, man, we just spared, like... Okay, all you guys, go right here. Oh, man, yay! We beat China! Okay, that's kinda awesome. All you guys combine, I guess, and create one big gigantic unit over here. Unit, no, not unit, unit! Okay, then go back right here, and we're going to divide you up even further. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there we go. That should be able to support that. Let's see, and then you guys should be able to support this. Oh, my goodness. Yes! So now that we have China, I believe we basically have the last remaining person that could have fought us on the mainland. Now there is absolutely no one that can fight us. We are basically invincible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up my... Uh, Oh, did I ever finish up my Burma conquest? Huh. I didn't really realize it, but let's go finish up Burma. Because Burma is kind of an annoying person. Go use Japan. Whoever wants to join in, just come join in. Alright? I really don't care. Uh, Philippines, you guys get to be called in because you're my friend. Uh, uh, Bohemia, you guys get to be called in because you're my friend. Everyone that's over here still, go over here and go defeat the Burmanese. Because we need to go conquer them. 
And actually from here, the next part, now that we have finished up all that, I believe it's now just time for us to go crazy, people. It's now time for us to just go conquer everything in sight. So, but actually the next part I'm actually going to, I think the next war I'm actually going to do is the Colombian War. So I can take over the USCA and Brazil and Panama, because I'm probably going to take over Panama in that. And just take over all of this region and control a lot of it. Because I do have a little colony right over here and it would be nice to use it. So, yes, that's our next conquest. Uh, that's probably why I moved all the troops over here. And just been having them sit here like idiots for the last couple years. Let's go see, let's go start dividing them. And let's see, how many of our ships are done? Not very many. I kind of wish we had a little bit more. And you guys got damaged majorly. But you guys survived, so that's good. And let's go see, let's go fight our next war. Huzzah! Japan joined in! Yay! Let's see. I don't really need to fight this right exactly yet. I'm going to go group up all my men, then go start dividing them up. Uh, 206 men over here. And literally all in China. This is just my China brigade. Okay, let's go divide it up. You guys go send in, go send in that. Then go divide this unit up. Go send in... That should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough right there. Let's go see. Yes. Oh, wow. They get to 75 units. Okay. Let's see. You guys go right here. Stay right there. Divide up right here. You guys go right there. Yes. Okay. Now, you four units. One go right there. One go right there. One go right there. And then let's see. This one? Is it this one? No, no. It's a more men. You guys go right there. All right? Let's go cross Burma. <laughs> Let's go cross the Burmanese and finally make our name just all across the world. And look at our name now. Yeah, wow, that just makes me really mad. <laughs> I mean, it was this really gigantic name all across the world, and now it's just like this Ottoman Empire. Like, quick. Oh, it's the Ottoman Empire. Everyone be afraid. Everyone be afraid. And there's Alaska over there chilling as Alaska. Not really doing much. Not really trying to build an empire of any sorts. Well, no wonder. They only have like 9.3k people. Probably stranded them for life. But let's see. We're going to go invade all of Burma with my death stacks of awesomeness. We also have a couple death stacks being made. Do I have to protect any of this land? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, unless they get to Dhaka, I'm not really going to have to uh, protect any of the land. Okay. Speaking of which... No, after this war. I think after this war, I'm going to do another massive conscription. Alright, but for right now, we're just going to move in kind of quickly to go defeat Burma. Because I just need to get Burma just so I have land access to all my land. And I don't have any piece of my land that I cannot conquer. Let's go see, go send more men down here. Let's go see, you guys go right there. Oh my goodness. 1905, people. 1905 was the year that China really... I mean, the year that we really took over the world. Seriously. Now we have basically no rivals. No rivals. No one else in the world is going to be able to fight us. It's so nice. This is, like, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Just massive wars. Nothing. Nothing they can do. I mean, Burma, there's absolutely no one to protect Burma either. No one. Not the British. Oh, wait. Well, who should I say? What is the British? <laughs> Uh, I, I shouldn't say that because I probably my culture would probably not wipe out the entire the entire cultures of every other culture. I would just make sure they are known that they did lose the war against us in the very end. They are no longer with us in terms of culture wise. And let's see, Burma, you for your valiant rebellion against my empire, I bestow upon you the chance of annexation. It's a it's a very noble title, I believe, because not all nations get to have it yet. We are trying to extend this generous courtesy to all, and to all who need it, which is basically everyone in the world. So let's see, finish off you guys, and bye bye Burma. <laughs> ah, there we go. So now we're going to move our armies over here. Gonna, I guess we keep that army right there. You guys, you guys are going to have to move. You guys go over here. Uh, and let's see, we keep this army over there. We keep this army over here. Let's see, how many clippers do we, or steamers do we have? 34, how much could that, oh yeah, let's just divide up one more time. Don't think that could quite deal with all the load we're dealing with. So we're probably going to have to wait a little bit, but that's okay. 
because I just remember we're probably going to have to get our causes better lie against these people and wait a little bit because I forgot to decrease our relationship with them. Hmm. So once I decrease the relationship with them, we're going to go declare war and finish them off. Completely and utterly destroying them. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Columbia, you guys are next. And then once we're done with Columbia, what my plan is is that I'm planning, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, my general plan for this is I want to conquer more of this kind of region because I want to get closer and closer to the United States. Once we get closer to the United States, I'm just going to plant a bunch of troops. Maybe I'll go invade, maybe I'll go invade Canada first, then go declare war in the United States and then finish them off like that. That's basically my plan. Okay, and let's see. We need to create some vassal states, otherwise, infamy. You know, I could probably screw in for me now, but yeah, we, we. I guess it's. You know, this is gonna be my last time I'm gonna release some people. So the people are gonna get to get released because I said I would release some of them. Uh, state of North Bueno, or Bono, probably not. Uh, let's see, let's see, the Republic of Macosis. Sure, we could release those guys. Where'd they get? Uh, none of these in Africa. Like, oh, oh, well, I, I keep thinking these are all, like, African places, and they are not. Wow, okay. So, yeah, I'm just making that uh, just a cluster mess. Let's see, Malakis is now officially a colony. Thank you. Curtail election. Yeah, apparently these guys are now independent. I guess, I guess I'm making a gigantic free independent, like, uh, sphere place over here. I guess, I, I really don't know. But I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take like a quick second right here to build a new gigantic army. So see you guys in a second. Okay, I am back and now I'm making around 204 troops. So yeah, big army, big big army. Me making, and me going to be very happy. So a couple things I have to deal with off the bat. I completely forgot to make to reopen all the French factories, which would really help our economy if the, all those French factories that had closed down during the war that would would suddenly open up again. Also, apparently, I forgot to do some more colonialization. Let's make that an official, official state of ours. Djibouti. Good job, Djibouti. You officially joined our empire. That makes me happy. <laughs> so, we also got most of our ships almost done. It's almost time for our ships to be almost done. Let's see. It's... I mean, we're really in no real rush. I mean... We're going to get, we're going to get everything we're going to need. We just, it's just going to take us a little bit, if you know what I mean. Like, eventually we're going to have enough ships right here, and they're all going to be nice and fine, and everything's going to be good, and everything's going to be chill. It's just, we have to get to that point. We also have a little tiny rebellion right here going on. I don't really care. If they, if they want to try to think that they're a rebellion over there on that little tiny island, I'll let them think they're a rebellion on that little tiny island. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably go send an army down there, but I have this kind of a good theory that if you have at least one rebellion going on, I constantly, I don't think any of the other rebellions are going to form. So that means all the infamy that we could possibly get would probably not fire. And I'm going to go get some iron steamers. Why? Because I'm going to, I want to kind of build the Suez Canal. That way we have a quicker land access through all this stuff. Especially considering our empire is literally this and this. We kind of need the Suez Canal. Okay. Okay. Let's go dangerous. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I freed the Guatemala. Uh, you know, that's actually not too far. That's actually not bad for me. I'm, I'm glad I freed Guatemala. Guatemala deserves to be a free country. Because, I mean, look at that. It, it looks it looks good. I like it. Let's see, how much population does it have? 208k. That's, that's a decent amount. It could definitely do something with that. Apparently, they're being ripped apart by, uh... You're being ripped apart by by this little nation called Ecuador and Paraguay. How did that happen? I... Maybe I don't want to know, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I don't want to know. Oh, gosh. Let's see. We got 49 steamer ships. I think once you get to 50, we're going to go send these guys off. We're almost... I think we almost created all of our steamers, too. Let's go see. We got a couple more, like 12 more. Then we're done. Then once they're all united, then we can go start shipping all of our men that are on this island right over here. Well, not really island. 
No, Africa is not an island. That's definitely not true. But once we're done, we're gonna go start shipping our troops from this little like meeting place and start sending them to South America. And then from there, we're gonna start beginning all of our conquest of everywhere. And yes, we'll also maybe do some backhanded stuff over here too. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> What are you talking about? We're not trying to invade Colombia. We're trying to, uh... Oh, gosh. What's a really clever thing I could say? Hmm. Like, make pop... Make muffins for them? That's the reason why we need to know where they live is because we need to know how to make muffins for them? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the best. That was not the best one I've ever come up with, but... It was it I was on the spot I kinda of panicked and let's see. Color Gassy Oh my goodness our money Money man money Money can buy your love I can tell you that right now. Okay, and that's not how the song goes, but this campaign money can buy your love. Okay, let's see. We could have about forty two percent. We could middle class you guys get a little bit of exception because I need you guys to grow and if you guys keep building my factories, we're gonna have a nice Oh yeah, no no, get the research. Research way more important than anything. I mean, seriously, I don't even care about these stats anymore. I know I'm the biggest and of any of them, and no one else is going to compare to me, so... Yeah, do whatever you wish with those stats. Because I don't really care. Go get some of this, let's see what was there. Almost got the maximum amount we need. You know, actually, the first people we could probably go send... Let's see, can you guys... Okay, so we can't support 100, a 72-sized army. So once we get the rest of these steamers... Is that the last steamer? One more steamer, and then we're all done. Look at these guys. These guys are really insanely quick. So once these guys are all done with their making, then we can finally go do more stuff. Let's go see if we're done with that. We can finally build ironclads, everyone. Yes, we can build the Suez Canal. Let's do that. Hooray! Provoke communist rebellion. What? <laughs> communist coup. Organize pro-communist coup. Prepare a strong army to fight. Uh, no, I don't like any of that. You know, you guys could go do that. I'm just going to stay calm and collective and not go do that uh, stuff that they were just talking about. That does sound kind of idiotic, just saying. But yes, once all these, once all these steamers combine, we're gonna have a decent, a great army. Maybe I'll go. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go send this army over first, and then from there simultaneously just go keep sending in more and more army. And let's go see. We're getting our last little bit of army CEO. That means our army is completely up to the challenge of what it needs to do. The last little bit of ships. Is there any more ships? Eh. Nepal wants an abduction of prestige. Eh. I really don't want to go to war with Nepal right now. I mean, I could. It wouldn't be that hard. I have literally troops right there next to the border. But seriously, I don't want to go to war with Nepal just yet. Okay, let's just get that last little ship in there. And then we officially got everyone. And then we can start, like, doing stuff. Let's go see. Yay, Bookend is officially collapsed. Oh. That actually was not a oh yay moment. Across Antarctica, of course we'll discover Antarctica for the rest of the world. Because we are the mighty Ottoman Empire and we do that kind of stuff. So you guys go right here. Go start sending this army right there. Oh man. Ghana, I think you guys should probably create a gigantic army. Because you guys will probably be attacked if I ever call you guys into war. Just saying. Just saying, you probably need to get more army. Okay? Okay. I'm, I'm glad we had that little talk. Okay? Let's see. We have a lot of spheres of influence. We have lots of stuff that we could do. And let's see. Yes, go send these guys, man. I love... The good thing about steamer ships is that they are twice as fast as... Oh, yes, yeah, so we just finished. Okay. So let's see. Do not migrate policies. Keep all research going at a constant rate. You guys go over here. You guys are gonna, yeah, these guys, the good thing about these guys is that they go twice as fast as steamers, so these guys can go insanely quick. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Oh man, did somebody, oh, did, oh, one of the colonies was actually ready to become a colony. I mean, a state. Dang it, I missed my chance. More people can join me. I mean, as many people that want to join my empire, please do. Let's see, how much is our population, total population? 1.09G. Wow. Didn't it? So, I have officially a population of 1 billion people. And considering that the population of this time was like, you know, close to like uh, 3.8 billion, I mean, that's pretty significant right there. 
Okay, you guys go right over here. Alright, let's go right here. Go start sending these guys right over here. Actually, I should probably move all these guys right here. It's just one less C zone these guys have to deal with. And let's see. Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.